it's just your casual Friday evening in the Magic Kingdom to finish off our week of Magic Kingdom. And we are at... Mickey's Not So Scary! We have not been to Mickey's Not So Scary since what? 2000... 2015. So we're ready it's to go. It's super loud. It is super loud. Wait, can you guess our costume? Mine's obvious. So is Sarah's thing. So it's our first Fantastic Friday that we're missing. We know it's going to happen sometimes when other people are missing or whatever. Tonight it's the party. So we were like, you know what we should do? Easy costumes. It's Peter, Sorcerer, Mickey at the top. And I am Tuxedo Mickey at the bottom. So we're calling... Thank you, Brandon. We are calling our costumes some imagination, huh? So we both got the buttons on. There's so many, there's so many photo pass people out and So we found out also. Um, we thought it and then our friend Julie confirmed it that these are staying here for the whole season. Because this is how you enter the party. You come in through that back way. That we were just talking about last night that we went through. Now let's go get ourselves some trick or treat bags. Yeah. Look at all these costumes and it's not even started yet. It's still, it's still two more hours. What is that? I'm about to eat some of this. We already got these cool bags. And these cool signs. Sarah, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. We're going, so here's the plan. I'm eating my m and now. So this is, the, this is the plan. We haven't, like, we've done these before. What, three of them before? Yes. I think we've done three parties before, and... Well, I've done all of them my, during my college program. <laughs> well, you worked it. You didn't go and play I know, it. but I'm... She Still thinks she's fancy. So Sarah definitely, because she's gone to every single one, she knows how to plan out perfectly an entire night, right? Mm -hmm. But just in case she has a little, little dust on on her knowledge, we're gonna go grab something to eat at Columbia Harbor House because we haven't had that. We've been Jones. In. But we're gonna grab some food and then we're gonna look at our times and figure out what time we're gonna see everything and. Oh yeah. So it'll be carefree and enjoyable. I think it's been like 16 years since we had this bad boy. I'm so I'm gonna get three entrees just for myself. Okay. Guys, we th we think they spiced up the menu here at H Columbia Harbor Hop. It's fancy now, but we think we're gonna do the trio platter, which is a delicious combination of shrimp, fish, and chicken breast nuggets, and then the lobster roll served with potato chips. We got Halloween cups. Yay! And we got. I'm gonna show you this before I eat it all. This was just walking in. This was just walking in. Look at all this candy. Look at all this food. Here's a lobster roll. So we got a lobster roll. With these, the, the most delicious chips ever. I love when Disney makes their chips. And then we got the trio. The trio, so it's fish, shrimp, and chicken. This is actually like, there's a video on our other channel of Dom's top five restaurants in Disney. And this is one of them. Like we really love it. What? Oh, yeah. And, um, Together, this was thirty dollars. But we just carb carb binged yeah. <laughs> to get ready for the night, and it looks gloomy out. It's like tonight's supposed to be a Halloween party because it's all cloudy and, and foggy out. It's the perfect weather. Per perfect atmosphere. Yeah. And we decided a great plan. I think this. Yeah. So hopefully. Our goal is for it to not like fly by because like a lot of times like you do like so many things right in a row that all of a sudden it's like the night is over. Yeah, so. like it's very easy to like watch a parade. Right after the parade, watch the stage show. Right after the stage show, get ready for the fireworks. After the fireworks, if you want to see the second parade, see the second parade, then go home. So it's like very like boom, boom, boom. So we're trying not to make it like that, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, one I don't. Have strap on and I'm holding over this. <laughs> so that's risky. And two, it's currently raining. Raining. Party hasn't started yet. And we're in a two to two and a half hour line to meet Jack and Sally. We've never had before. But we wanted to say thanks for saying hi to our friend Elizabeth. Yeah. She watches our vlogs. So thanks for saying hi. Good luck in all your adventures and we hope to see you again. There they are. Jack and Sally. But it stopped raining and you just missed the ghost host. Do announcement that the party has officially begun, Sarah. How do you feel? You can see the raindrop is on our ears. I'm just sending the video of them to Peter Sibley. Oh, look at all the fo creepy fog is starting. Those are like real pumpkins, I think. I'm hoping to get a little sweet treat in like 10 minutes, depending on where we are in this line. But they say from where we are, it's two hours. I don't know about, I mean, I could see that, but it's 
Either way, we've never met them in Disney World. They don't come out any other time or anywhere, I think, than right here. And this is our... In Disneyland. In Disneyland. Camera's okay. It's dried off. It wasn't too wet. And but since the party has officially started, I'm going over to Sleepy Hollow to get one of uh, the desserts because they have special desserts during the, only during the Halloween party. All right, so there was a little change in plan. When I went over there, it actually wasn't open. And then when I went back over there, after it opened, it was a really long line. Well, look at these two. I think they're going to take a break before we say hi. But what happened was I had to wait in like a 30 minute line just to get our nice little Jack Skellington parfait. Oh, look, there, there you are. There it is. It was five bucks with tax only during the party. Why, hello? He looks to be some sort of sorcerer. Yes, I'm sorcerer. And what sort of spells do you cast, my good sorcerer? Magical hat ones. Magical hat ones? Any terrifying ones in there? Um, only Christmas. Only Christmas terrifying ones? What sort of Christmas terrifying ones? Presents that are with scary teeth. With scary teeth? Yeah, That's for you. Yes. She makes the most terribly wonderful potions. Why, just the other night, there was a bit of a bad drop, and then a bit of liquid fuse, which is quite good. It goes down a little rough, but touch of deadly dietary. No frog bread. No frog bread. Well, sometimes. <laughs> well, the doctor thinks. Yes. Wonderful. Oh, years! Well, I've been dead for years waiting to meet you. And I look forward to those great Christmas decorations. Yes, oh my goodness, the boxes and boxes. It sounds perfectly terrifying. It is. Wonderful, I like the kind of imagination Comes up with some great new ideas. So splendid to meet both of you. Have a perfectly horrid rest of your evening. Keep your eye out for Lock Shot. Ooh, oh, thank you. We're trying to find them. Yes. Guys, that was worth the two hour wait. That was so amazing. That was so much fun. We talked so long. We talked to... I wish we got to say more because like I literally like will watch and I remember Christmas every day during Halloween because I'll just have it on as like background music. Yeah. And, oh my gosh, that was wonderful. Then the proposal. Well, hold on. Then we, we were with two families the whole two hours that we were waiting there and like we made friends with them. Yeah, like me and Peter weren't even talking to each other. No, like, like, Sarah was talking to one family, I was talking to the other, we would switch, she would talk to the other family, I talked to the other. So then after all that, we have a great meet and greet with Jack and Sally. We've never met them before. And then these girls were waiting at the exit and they told Sarah like, oh, that guy that you were talking to is gonna propose. So we and waited. so we stayed back and saw the proposal with Jack and Sally because they're big Jack and Sally fans. I filmed it. But we're not going to put it in here because it's their life, but we got their email. I'm going to email them the video. And it was so great to, to capture that bit of magic for them. Okay, this is up? great. Now it's now it's time to actually I'm enjoy the rest of the party. Yeah. Dan, 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 Dan. Ooh, yeah. Last time we were here, were we over there? No. No, we were down by the hub and it like rained and it like was, yeah. it was crazy. But like the first time that Sarah's, one of Sarah's sisters and my brother came down to visit when we worked here, we went to a, uh, a Halloween party and we were right there. And it was like the most magical Halloween like so parade ever. Yeah, because like that closes off so like eventually nobody can enter or exit that except for certain spots during the parade. So it was like we had our own little stage and fun area to just dance and go crazy. I'm starting to lose my mind. Because I'm so excited for this parade. Not just one, but two parades. It's recording. <laughs> He's the breeder of Halloween fear. Beware, the headless horseman no. is here. No.
why Halloween parties are the best thing ever. Is the cast members, the adults, the kids, everybody gets to do it. Sarah lost her jacket. I had to. It is. Basically, it hasn't been like. It's very human. Yeah. It's not hot tonight. It's Jackie is like. It keeps it insulated. It keeps you warm. It's a Chicago jacket. I don't. I had a jig in our box for Okay. I'm like shaking. I can hear the parade. I've never felt more alive right now. The cast members are doing a, like a scavenger hunt. Yeah. Like they so have to find like every different character costume. And then have the have the guests like initial it or sign it. Yeah. So it's so much fun to work here in Disney World. Yeah. We should all get jobs. Time. Do the fall college program if you ever. Or, or just do or just work here. Just do work in here. Or do spring and extend. Or just do work in here. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear it. It's kind of sad. Like, we're, I want to come back again. I want to be over. Maybe we'll come back four more times. Maybe. A second time. Ah! We're gonna watch it from Frontierland the next time. Ah! Ah! <laughs> no! Take my bag. About to, I'm about to do a ramble real quick. So, anywhere from uh, Casey's Corner to the Front of Castle is a great spot right, yeah. for the fireworks because they're perimeter fireworks for the holidays, or for Halloween, which is when there's fireworks behind the castle, and then at various points in it, and especially the grand finale, there's actually fireworks shot off from the east and west sides of like behind, behind the park. You get 360 degrees of fireworks. When you hear the knell of a requiem bell, we're ghosting by the spirit's well. Figure out if we're gonna do like a one take for the Fat Bob 207 video because it's like 10 o'clock at night and we haven't put up a video yet. <laughs> Sorry guys. This is our spot. We're the Hocus Pocus Pachocus. It's not terrible. There's another show at midnight, but. But if we watch this, then we can try to go as much fun as we can. Yeah. And then we'll just find a quick spot for the second break. Yeah. Fun too. Oh, isn't it obvious? We are back in the living world. The living world. Come, little children. The times come to play here in my garden of magic. Here in my garden of magic. Look how 
how creepy Main Street USA looks. Guys, that creepy Main Street means that they closed down because of the rain. They stopped the Hocus Pocus party mid show. In the middle of the show. There's another one at midnight, so hopefully it'll clear up before that. But the rain's got to clear up and then they have to dry the stage off before yeah. they can give it okay. So everyone's getting ready for the second Who Do You, but we're not sure if that's going to go up. Or if it'll do like, I don't know, maybe it has a modified rain version. Twice. We did? Yeah, yeah we did. It was a little crazy the second time. It was a little crazy. It was rainy and it was a little different, like they modified a few things. Yeah. Look, look well, that was good. I'd rather see that than see nothing. Look, put the camera that way. Everybody, Woo! look at all the fun that's happening right now. I can just like feel it. Look how, look how, look how quiet it is over here. It's super quiet. We're about to bow to our princess. Oh yeah, that's super thirsty. I'm so thirsty. She's gonna get some water. Right here, she is in her rags, but you notice the the crown in the background? If you stand directly in front of her, she looks like a princess. And then in addition, if adults get the water, if adults drink the water, they're forced then to bow to the princess. But little kids don't have to. That's why it's shorter. Fingers crossed that they give us all the candy. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. It's out, I think. Everybody, the past like four candy spots, it's midnight. Usually, I mean, the, every other Halloween party we've come to, right at, right when the party's over, and nobody is at the candy spots, and they're all full of candy. But the past couple, uh, actually, all the candy places we went to, nobody gave like one handful out. That's okay. Oh, no. we went to like five places. Yeah. Still a good haul. What do you call the night of success? I think once we like had that interaction with Jack and Sally, it was a success. Yeah. We're in a race. We're not sure what's going on. We were about to leave, but then we saw the Sanderson sisters on the stage from the end of Main Street, so we don't know if they're doing like a, a practice show or like they're just doing it to have fun because the stage is too wet to have the normal show. Well, they're doing it, and we're almost the same spot that we left off. Really? Well, it's just the Sanderson sisters. I don't see any of the other characters or dancers, so this is going to be interesting. The fairies nightmares, as terrifying as the shadows of the moon at night, filling dreams to the brim with fright. <laughs> I put a spell on you. Was that a treat or what? Surprise. So I literally, right before we got in line to pick a picture on Main Street, I was gonna tell you guys how like sometimes days in the parks or trips and stuff like that are unpredictable. So like this is a special event, so you have all the special stuff you wanna do. And it was rainy and like really humid and some of the stuff didn't happen as planned. But it's okay because we still have a great time because you're still in Disney World. You still gotta make the most of it. It doesn't matter if you just walk around. I know there's expectations, but you just gotta embrace all the magic. 
no matter how big or small. And then we're waiting in line. Exactly, you just gotta enjoy it. We're waiting in line to take our photo on Main Street. And all of a sudden, I start seeing like people see, running around. And I yeah. thought maybe they were just like characters or like just like the spare I dancers. The I thought they just like had to blast them off. Yeah, sometimes they have to blow them off when they load them for a show if it gets canceled. Look behind them. And then all of a sudden, what? Oh, the Festival uh, Fantasy? Yeah. I saw it earlier. She's super good. Um, but then they ended up doing the stage show and it was magical. That was awesome. It was a little bit different even from 2015. Yes. And Winnie's microphone went out mid performance and then she had a handheld. And it was awesome. She was a professional witch. My dear, we finished our week of the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> Did you think on Monday when I accidentally put that idea into your head it would actually happen? And did you think it would end with a not so scary Halloween party? I did not. Ooh, let's go see this. Oh my goodness. I kind of did. I hope so. Well, the train just dropped us off in the parking lot. But we'd really like to thank everybody. Let us know in the comments down below if you followed our week of Magic Kingdom. Because it's been a really fun week. Really tiring, but really fun. Yeah. Great Tomorrow way to finish it off. we're going back to the resort. Yes. Back on park time. Tomorrow we are going to enjoy some music with Chelsea and Kristen at one of the resorts. Um, so we'll let you know how that will bring you along with our trip tomorrow to that. But Thanks for following along. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And don't always just enjoy the parks. Yeah. Even if it's rainy it or there's long waits. You get to spend time. Probably my favorite thing tonight was standing in line for two hours to meet Jack and Sally with Sarah. And we met these two wonderful families and watched one of them get um, engaged. And the other one, we were talking the whole time about how the vlogging world works and how nice Tim and Jen Tracker are and how it's just fun to like see people enjoying the parks in real life and on YouTube. So just enjoy your time in Disney World. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. The parking lot of the Magic Kingdom. This is home too. Yeah. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.